Welcome to part one of Layout a Print Books Pages. We're going to use InDesign CS6 and the first goal is to set up the file. To do this you can either click in the middle of the screen to, on Create New Document or you can go up to File, New and Document which will bring up this dialog box. We're going to keep things pretty simple today. The intent is to print so you can leave that set where it is. The number of pages, well look you don't really need to put the number of pages as you'll see with the auto flow but I'm going to put 50 in just to show you can specify them. Facing pages so it opens like a book, left and right pages, you don't want them single sided. Start at page number one, put in a primary text frame. I'm not going to explain this right now but it is to do with something we'll visit later with master pages. It can be handy. It's not entirely necessary. Uh, for the page size I'm just going to ask you to stick with A5 for the moment while you're learning but of course please use other measurements like the A, B, B plus format or C format or indeed whatever standard sizes your print on demand company offers. It's no good putting a size here if the print on demand company doesn't offer it. If you're working in millimetres, great. If you don't want to work in millimetres, if you want to work in inches or it's, if it's showing pikers and you want to get to millimetres, you need to change the units and increments before you continue. And to do that, you can see this on part one of Assemble a Print Book Cover, which is also in the same series. But for now, we're going to move on to just having a single column of text. So the gutter is irrelevant. And the margins, I'm going to suggest a top margin of 20 millimetres. Now they're all coming up to 20 millimetres because I've got this link icon check so I'm going to uncheck it and now the bottom I'm just going to suggest 22. You don't have to stick with these by the way. Go from what you like on a books page. Have a close look, get out a ruler and measure them. Inside I'm going to go for 22 millimetres as well but outside they're 18 millimetres. Now some of you may have read where the inside and the outside should be equal. Well yeah okay you might aim for that but one, you don't want to have the inside margin too narrow or people will have to break open the book to read it. And two, a lot of designers forget that one or two mils of the inside margin is going to be ground off when the book is perfect bound. Then you click OK and you have the page. Now I'm just going to scroll down uh, and you see, oh, one page, two pages. Now there's a better way to view them. And that's using the Pages palette, which if it's not showing, go to Window and Pages. And there it is. And you can see if we click on page one or double click on page one, there it is. Page two, page three, I'm double clicking. And right through, we go down to the bottom there, page 50. Now, very importantly, there is an even number of pages. You can't have a book with an odd number of pages. Think about it. And the very first page is always going to be a right-hand page. So that's why there is one by itself at the start and one by itself at the finish. The first one's a right-hand page. Number 50 here is a left-hand page. All right, that completes the file setup so we can move on to the next step. Thank you for watching and please remember to comment, like or subscribe if you'd like to view more videos about indie book publishing.